Okay, you guys are currently balancing on two candles, so. It is currently Saturday. I was just working on memorizing my lens for something slay. Why am I talking like that? If slay has become too big a part of your vocabulary as well, please let me know down below so I don't feel so ashamed. I was reviewing that and then all of a sudden, I heard a little pitter patter at my door and I've been waiting for this package for I wanted to say like a very long time, but it's literally been just like four days. I did a big purchase at this online store where this girl just like curates, you know, her own little shop from things she finds while thrifting. And I've been following her for a while. Her at, I'll put it right here. It's at Retro and Groovy. And she's super sweet. I think we've like DM'd once before, but her finds and art, they're just so good. They're so good and I don't think I've ever bought anything from her before. I just followed for a long time but then I was going back on her website because I was bored and you know when you just like fill up a cart on a website because you're just bored and you just choose like, oh, if I had the money, this is what I would buy. But then as I was going through her website, I saw that she had a, I saw her sales section and her sales section had a lot of really good finds. So basically I'm entering my retail therapy era because usually I would not spend this much money on clothes. It's not even really that much considerably like with what things cost nowadays. But for me, it's a lot because I don't like to spend money. So also I'm a little bit because I got sunburned this week and that wasn't very sly of me to do. Anyway, I'm sure you want to see the freaking haul, so let's do a little try on haul. Look at how big the bag is. Ah! Oh, I see a little note. But this is all of her stuff, so go follow. I think I got like five or six things, which is crazy for me, so. I mean, obviously I hope it all fits too. We shall see. I'd rather things be big than too small. Okay, so the first thing that I saw on the website that made me like want to do the order in the first place. I thought it was a little bit like lighter green, but I still like it. It's this really oversized knit mock neck sweater. And on the bottom part, it just kind of has like a crochet macrame. Macrame? That's definitely not the right word. A little moment going on, a little detailed moment. And I just would like love to put this over a little black skirt and kind of make this kind of look like a sweater dress, but it's a little bit too short for that, so throw something on underneath i don't know but it looks comfy and cute and i love it also i feel like this would be really cute to like wear to the beach at night because it gets really cold and a little sweater at the beach i love a knit at the beach anyway continuing with the knits next we have this knit collared mini dress i think this will look really cute on i hope that it fits um but the coloring i feel like would look really nice. It might not look nice on me right now because I am a little burnt and that is red, but we're going with it, we're going with it. Next, look at this skirt. It's a high-low skirt, which if you told me that I bought a high-low skirt a year ago, I'd be like, that trend is dead. But I'm bringing it back, baby, because it's cute. Also, there's a drawstring waist, and whenever I see that on somewhere, I'm like, okay, I can make it fit me no matter what the length or whatever the size is. Cute. It's also really soft. Perk about buying thrifted things is that it's already broken and most of the time, especially shoes, but also like be careful buying used shoes just cause like, just clean them when you get them home, you know? I bought so many, everything is a knit but one thing. <laughs> as we're heading into summer, as today's the hottest day of the year, 90 degrees, slay. But cooler days ahead, cooler days ahead. Or I'm telling myself that, that way I don't feel bad about my purchase. Again, an oversized knit moment. This is so fun and cool. I love these colors, they're so interesting. Also, the cut is very cute too. I really am excited to see this on. When she modeled it on her website, it looked really cute, so. Also a little bit metallic too, which is nice. Okay, last but not least, I pictured this kind of covering up a mini dress at night. A little going out jacket. I have to steam it or something, but look at this blazer. Baby blue, like satiny blazer. Isn't that so cute? Has a little bit of a shoulder padding very lightly, so it's nice and squared. This I think would look so cute over like a black, outfit like a black mini skirt black top or even something colored too that would be really fun i am so excited about all these um so definitely go check her out okay i need to continue doing my 
reading, so you guys. Before I went to bed last night, Miss Taylor Allison Swift decided, oh, I'm gonna announce Speak Now Taylor's version at Nashville night one of the Eros tour. My brain exploded. I, I don't even have tickets to the Eros tour, even though she's gonna be in LA for like four or five nights at SoFi Stadium. Like, it's still like, it's unbelievable to me that like there's no tickets left. Crazy. Anyway, Speak Now is one of my top two Taylor albums. It goes between that and Folklore. They each have a different time and place, you know, different vibes too. But that was like the biggest news of the past 24 hours. Now it's time to make a little sandwich. I haven't made a sandwich, especially a turkey and cheese sandwich, in so long. But I just went to Trader Joe's and last week I went to Target and got Dijon mustard on sale and so I probably should get bread as well. If you are a Taylor Swift stan, comment down below your favorite album. Um, I'm not gonna ask you what song because we all know that like if you love Taylor Swift, there's several songs that like you just bounce between. You can't pick a favorite. We got some oven roasted turkey breast. Swiss cheese. My eye has been twitching all day. You can't really tell. If you have eyes that twitch, can somebody let me know why that happens? I could Google it, but I just need more. No, I just like my eyelids have been twitching, but like this one more specifically all day, and I feel like I'm going crazy. Like I feel it's so irritating. I'm not great at taking off my mascara. In fact, I never do. <laughs> so maybe that's why. Maybe my eye is finally getting a little irritated. Also, there is an apartment complex across my window and I don't know if I'm just an idiot and never have noticed this, but it looks completely different than I ever remember. So either in the past 24 hours, they've totally renovated it and painted it different or I'm going crazy. Also, raspberry plant update, raspberry plant update. Look at her. She has grown. I don't know how long it's gonna take um, for actual raspberries to come, but we shall see. Okay. It's going to be a simple sandwich, my eye. It's literally just going to be turkey, cheese, Dijon mustard. Is there anything else? mustard and I think I got that from him. We need more. We need more. <gasps> Cute. Oh my god, it smells so good. Let's go eat this. Well, that's zoomed in a little too close. Oh, not the right way. Okay, taste test. This looks banging. Look at that. It's like the most boring white sandwich ever. <laughs> Mm. If I was on the beach right now, it hits, but if I was on the beach, it hit a lot more. I think we can all agree that a turkey and cheese sandwich, when you're at the beach, or like at, at a lake, on a, you know, whatever, whatever summer activities outdoors, it's different. Especially if like you're exhausted from swimming in the water. Just picture this, ready? Picture this. Warm, hot summer day at the beach, you just play the mermaids for half an hour. You're covered in sand, places you don't really want to be, but you don't care. You're enjoying life. And then somebody calls you up to the chairs and they say, hey, I got a little turkey sandwich for you. And a Coke or a Dr. Pep. Oh, or a Capri Sun too. My God. Okay, I'm gonna go watch Beef. 
which just sounds really weird to say. It has Steven Yen and Ali Wong. It's really good. I'm almost finished with it and I started it yesterday. 